The sixth season of SEAL Team is yet to premiere. The fifth season earned favorable reviews from critics and viewers alike. The focus on establishing compelling characters in an action-packed show was especially praised. However, there are numerous foreseen events throughout the series. What should fans do till season six debuts? We've compiled a list of shows that are comparable to SEAL Team season six. Whether it's the army action or military topics to help you prepare for season six. To begin with, we have The Unit, CBS, 2006 to 2009. Now that we're back in the thick of things, let's look at an older military television series that deserves to be on this list, The Unit on CBS. If SEAL Team is about the most elite unit of Navy SEALs, The Unit is about the Army's similar group, the Army Special Operations Unit, sometimes known as Delta Force or just The Unit. The SEAL Team is is the Navy SEAL's most elite unit. Delta Force personnel are a special operations military force that, like Navy SEALs, is only assigned the most high-level, covert, and dangerous missions. And we get to see all of this happen on the unit as we accompany one of these Delta Force groups stationed at the fictitious Fort Griffith Army installation. In addition, you will experience a taste of the rigorous training required to join the Delta Force and gain a look into the unique lifestyles that the members of this unit and their families lead daily. If you enjoy the current iteration of SEAL Team, you should see the unit, which came before it. You may be confident that you are in for four seasons of thrilling adventures, top secret operations, and entertainment, since CBS knows what it is doing when it comes to military dramas. Moving on, we have 68 Whiskey, Paramount Network, 2020. The most recent addition to this list is the Paramount Network series 68 Whiskey, which premiered in early 2020. Unfortunately, the show was terminated soon after its premiere and only aired for one season, which ended in March. This American adaptation of an Israeli sitcom called Charlie Golf One is a military comedy that follows a group of army medics stationed in Afghanistan. The first series was created in Israel. This program contains both funny and tragic parts. It brilliantly blends the heavier moments of friendship and laughter that many real-life warriors rely on to get through the day with the more serious drama of being a combat medic stationed in a U.S. military facility dubbed the Orphanage. Suppose you want to see all the complications of being an army doctor in a war zone, including the constantly risky and absurd situations these medics find themselves in. In that case, you should give 68 Whiskey a try. You should watch 68 Whiskey if you want to witness all of these things. It's an excellent military drama, but also a wonderful comedy series with cinematic quality and a lot of heart. The show also has a lot of heart. Following that, Shooter, 2016 to 2018. The action-packed and dramatic television series is based on Stephen Hunter's novel, Point of Impact. The main character in this narrative is named Bob Lee Swagger. He served in the United States Army before joining the United States Marine Corps Special Operations Outfit Force Recon. When intelligence regarding a possible assassination attempt on the president's life emerges, Swagger is forced to return to his former life as a vigilante. Hunter's novel has been made into a television series for the second time. The first film adapted from the book was a 2007 film starring Mark Wahlberg. Ryan Phillippe plays the character Swagger in the series. Ryan Phillippe plays him. On on the other hand, Shooter has gotten mixed reviews, with critics describing it as an underdeveloped drama, lacking in original voice or vision. Next up, we have SWAT, 2017 to present. The television series SWAT, developed by Robert Hammer, tells the story of a special weapons and tactics unit led by Army veteran Sergeant Daniel Hondo Harrelson. Harrelson has been approached about directing a special weapons and and tactics squad in Los Angeles, dubbed the Last Line of Defense. Hondo was born and raised in Los Angeles, so he naturally has ties throughout the city. This helps him collect intelligence that others do not have access to in the same way that he does. We've seen him successfully lead the crew on several tasks. The private lives of Hondo and his team members eventually emerge as key themes covered throughout the series. Reviewers have criticized the series for 
constantly reusing common words and cliches. On the other hand, Shamar Moore has been nothing short of spectacular in his portrayal of Hondo. Moving on, Our Girl, BBC One, 2014 to 2020. Our Girl is another British military television series that could not be left out of this list of the best military television shows currently on the air, primarily because it is unique compared to the other shows on this list. The cast of Our Girl, like the cast of Strike Back, has undergone many changes throughout the show's three seasons on television. This, however, has little bearing on the series' larger storyline. The series follows a British Army nurse, Molly in the first season, and Georgie in the second, third, fourth, and fifth seasons, as she travels through Afghanistan, Nairobi, Nepal, and Nigeria. On the other hand, Our Girl concentrates on a female soldier and all of the difficulties and delights that come with being a woman in the army. In contrast, we are accustomed to watching military shows that primarily feature male protagonists. If you want to watch a television show about the army led by women with all the characteristics that create a great military drama, you should watch Our Girl while providing you with all of the adrenaline and edge of your seat moments that come with being one of the top army TV programs currently available. It will also allow you to see the armed forces through the eyes of a female soldier. Following that, Code 2019. You are surely aware that there are military action and medical dramas, but did you know that there are also military law dramas? That's right, CBS, the network that dominates the military programming market, has a law show called The Code that concentrates on the United States military's legal minds. Captain Abraham, a former Marine injured during a mission in Afghanistan and later became a lawyer, is a crucial character in The Code. The trial services office at Marine Corps Base Quantico provides various trial-related services. Abe is part of the team that provides these services. To be hired by TSO, a person must be an extremely skilled attorney and have extensive training in various other legal specialties. Such qualities include acting as a defense or a prosecutor and conducting investigations into the various cases brought to their attention. Throughout a single season of The Code, you will see TSO tackle various challenging legal issues, as well as how the members of TSO regularly have to set aside their fundamental principles and values to ensure that justice is done. Up next, Enlisted, Fox, 2014. Do you like to hear a hilarious take on life in the military? If so, Enlisted, a Fox comedy series that aired for only three seasons before being canceled, is one to watch. Staff Sergeant Pete Hill, the principal character of the comedy, is assigned to the Fort McGee military base in Florida and given leadership of a squad of ill-suited men. This circumstance is essential to the plot, and because it's a rear detachment unit, which means it's made up of troops tasked with looking after the base while the rest of the personnel are deployed overseas, it's full of odd individuals. Furthermore, Pete's younger brothers Derek and Randy are also in the unit, which means the brothers now have lots of opportunities to work out their differences and rebuild their once strong friendship. Although it is a show about the military, Enlisted has a much lighter tone than the other shows on our list. The show only has 13 half-hour episodes, yet it packs a lot of emotional impacts, making it ideal for marathon viewing sessions. Finally, we have Valor, 2017 to 2018. The concept of the show Valor is intriguing, and although it only had one season, it deserves special mention on this list. The story's action takes place at a military base, where a specialist squadron of helicopter pilots is stationed. These pilots take part in top-secret international missions, while maintaining strict confidentiality. The story revolves around one of the pilots, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Nora Madani, who serves as the main character. A lot of focus is placed on flashbacks of a task Madani could not complete. As the plot progresses, the audience discovers that a vast conspiracy involving the government and the military is now underway. Furthermore, it is Madani's responsibility to carry out a rescue operation to save the lives of countless American soldiers who are in danger. The television show Valor had a decent audience, with an average of 1 million viewers every episode. The show, however, did not garner a positive welcome from critics. Valor's attempt to highlight a 
largely ignored part of the armed services is marred by a poorly conceived blend of military action and melodrama. Comments Rotten Tomatoes. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you liked it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.